Hey guys, today we're going to go over just briefly the uh, the new Eurohome offline controller for the 3036 and the 6060. This is a Gerbil offline controller, so technically it will work with any other machine that has uh, Gerbil software, which is most of the lasers and CNCs out on the market. But we're just going to go over it real quick. Um, there is a nice 15 page manual that comes with it that gives you all the details, uh, pictures, exactly how to use it, um, the screens, what they mean, and so forth, and um, the different terminology, and then what comes with it, you'll get the actual offline controller, you'll get a cable, and you'll get your um, SD card with it. So, let's go ahead and just show you briefly how it works. Um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just simply plug it in, and then so you just plug the nine pin in right here, and basically, what uh, what it does is it allows you to run the machine without having an actual computer connected to it so you'll be using just the uh, offline controller itself. So let's go back to the controller here. On the top of it you'll see you've got the power button and then you'll see you have where the 9 pin goes here and then you have your SD card slot right there. So uh, basically um, we're going to turn the power on When the power comes on, you'll probably notice that um, it will have an alarm. I know you might not be able to see this very well, but we're just going to go through it. When, uh, if you get the manual, you'll be able to see all of this specifically in the manual and if you have it in front of you. But um, what the first thing you're going to do is go to setup, and then you're going to do unlock and then reset or vice versa. But unlock, then reset, and then on top it will say idle. So now, pretty much it's ready to use the machine. So there's a bunch of different things here. The main thing I wanna show you is how to navigate it around, and then we can also show you how to put in your information for your Z Pro. Again, this is all in the manual if you get confused or anything, or if I'm, if I'm going too fast. So one of the main things is move. Down on the bottom left, you'll click move. So when you click move, you have your your X, your Y, and your Z, uh, plus and minus, PWM is your laser on button, SPN is your spindle on button, and then you have close and return. Now, this is odd, but this is close. Close is if you, uh, you basically your speed. So if you click it one time, it'll say 0 0.05. That's the, um, this, um, the distance of travel. Um, 0.1 is, uh, you know, 0.1, and then you have the, the one, and then you have 10 and then you have just this close. Okay, you'll notice that the default uh, move distance is closed. And what you do is if you click that, it'll be 0.05, it's in millimeters, 0.1, and one, and then 10 millimeters. So basically, when you want this to move out of the default, it won't move at all. So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna change it, we're gonna click it till it just says one, and then we're going to jog jog the controller, as you can see, and I'm actually gonna change it to 10. As you can see the controller now, left, right, and then forward, backward, or the Y. And then same thing with the Z, down and up. And that's pretty much how you navigate around. You're gonna use that to position your um, spindle over top of your material. And so basically what you would do would be, let's say you move that there, and you're gonna move this down, until your spindle's right where you want it. Let's just say to the right a little bit. And then that's when you will go ahead and you can uh, use the Z probe or just put your spindle where you want it and then go ahead and run. While we're in this screen, I wanna show you the, um, bes the uh, I wanna change this to just one. Bes uh, SPN is a spindle and PWM, like I said, is your laser. So we're gonna click SPN for the spindle to come on. When you click it, if it doesn't come on right away, just uh, jog one of the um, one of the axes one way or the other and it should come right on. So let's just do the Z axis up. As you can see, basically what it's doing is it's sending a, a signal to the spindle to, um, to come on. I guess it just doesn't do it by itself right there, but now you can turn it off, but you have to um, press the up or down or something to actually activate it, I guess we can say. But that's how you test your spindle anyway, and then you also can test your speed. Don't forget to check your speed on, the, uh, on your controller box as well. 
So I'm going to turn that off. And then we're going to click return. And now we're back at the main screen here. Now, one of the things that you're probably going to want to do first is home in your screen or home in your machine. So um, let's go ahead and just click home. And you'll notice that the machine is homing and we'll let it finish. Okay, now that we've got it homed, you know, obviously we're in the home position as if you were homing it from one of your other softwares. And then so from here, um, you can use the move to move around, whatever you want to do. Um, you can set the home position. So let's just say we go to move. We have this on, let's just say 10. And then we're going to, let's just navigate this around. Let's do X plus. Let's move this over. Uh, y plus and we're gonna move the spindle down and then I'm gonna click return so let's just say we want this to be our home position this is where your um, you know your material set at and you know your your spindles right where you want it your bit is right on where to start and you want to set the home so you're gonna click set home and then now what you could do is you can set up all of your axes to go right to zero. So if um, my X is perfect, I could click this and you'll see that now it has changed my uh, X to zero and you could just go through or you could just set them all by, by selecting set X, Y, Z. And now you'll notice that they are all zeros. So now that it is, um, now that it's, center or now it is um, you set your home basically you are now ready to pretty much carve so if you click back it brings you back to the main or click return it brings you back to the main screen go back into setup so now that we're back at the home screen there are a couple other things that we can do from here one of them is um, you have your um, you have your Z probe Let me move this here and basically you need to measure your Z probe, your, your thickness here. And this one is 20 millimeters. So um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into set probe first. And you're going to set yours to however, you know, millimeters thickness it is. If you have a mandrel or the silverback, it is 20. Um, if you have our new thin um, Z axis or Z probe, it is 10 millimeters. So for this, example I'm gonna set it to 20 and then I'm gonna click return and I click set up all right now that you have your probe set to 20 millimeter let's go ahead and probe the machine I've got a I put a bit in here just to show you you're gonna clip your um, alligator clip onto your bit and then you're gonna put this underneath and make sure it's right where you want it and then you're just gonna click probe and what it's going to do is it's going to go down, it's going to touch your probe, and then it's going to back off 20 millimeters. So that's pretty much it. So now you uh, have set your zero point on the board itself, and move that out of the way. You've set your Z, your, 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 uh, your zero point on your Z, which is, will be the height of your board, and or uh, surface of the board, sorry. And that's pretty much it. It's actually pretty easy once you go through the whole thing. Um, if for some reason you're carving, uh, let me, let's just do that, and you hit a limit switch, it's, um, it's actually pretty easy to get out of it. You may have to do this choice, but I'll show you real quick. Let's do the X minus until we hit one. There we go. So I just hit the limit switch and now it's not going to, the machine's not gonna run now. I have to come off of that limit switch. So it's actually pretty easy. Uh, click return and you're gonna see up here a hard limit uh, reached. So what we're gonna do pretty much is click on unlock and then reset, no, and, I'm sorry, reset and then unlock and you should be back to idle again. Now with that in mind, uh, don't forget your machine is sitting on the limit switch. 
So when you come off the limit switch, odds are it's going to be um, an alarm again. So let's try this. So now if we start it over, let's move, let's click X plus, and as soon as it started to move, it came off the limit switch, and then if I click return, um, it's not going to allow me to go again. So, um, whoops, move, and I'm going to hit X plus, oh, sorry, and now that it did it, you'll see it's not moving, and it actually did not give me an alarm here if you're looking at it. it I'm sorry, it has the question marks. So we're just going to click reset and unlock again, and then now we should be okay to move away from it. So basically, let's do that again real quick, just so you have an understanding. So I hit the limit switch, and I go, whoops, darn it, click return. We're going to go to reset, unlock. There we go. And then we're going to go back to move, and then I'm going to try and move off. And as soon as you do, it hits the limit, or it comes off of the limit switch, and then causes an alarm again. So we're going to come back, return. It just doesn't tell me alarm here the second time. It looks like, oh, actually it does right there. Um, I'm going to hit reset and unlock, and now I should be okay. Now it says idle, I'm going to move, and now I should be okay to go ahead and move it where I want to move it to. Mm -hmm. So that pretty much is it. Let's see, what did we miss here? I don't think there's much more that we missed. When you click return, you're going to come back here to setup. And that's how you move it around. That's how you get it where you want it. It's how you put, set your Z probe and the basic functionality. And like I said, the, the manual is pretty detailed on how to run um, different things, different software, or, or how, to, how to run the machine. Um, the same exact principle applies for the Silverback and most other Gerbil controllers out there. You know, moving left, right, the Z probe, and getting it positioned where you want it. So let's go ahead and show you how to run a file. Okay, you should have gotten an SD card with your offline controller. And um, basically what you're going to do is create your file, your design file, set your speed speeds, your designs, your tool paths, and then you're going to export that G code and you're going to copy it onto your SD card. Now, um, the SD card goes into the top of your controller or top of your offline controller here. Most times I don't have any problems just putting the um, card inside the offline controller. If you do um, have issues with it, you may have to turn it off and turn it back on and then just reset your spindle again. Um, I guess it just has, sometimes it confuses it reading it, just putting it in while it's not, while it's just, while it's already on. So the card just goes in the top here and the, um, the label on it goes towards the back. So I'm gonna put mine in and then what you're going to do is you're going to go you're going to go to file and then you're going to click SD card and this is going to list the different um, G codes that you have on your card of course up down next and return and I'm going to go ahead and click on this untitled right here now you'll notice it's already on pause and you have a couple options you can hit resume or you can hit more and you can actually cancel it resume or you can actually see the G code if you want to see it yourself and then click return now I'm going to go ahead and click on resume and then that should start the machine running. Now you'll notice I just have, this is for demonstration purposes so I don't have any actual material there right now, but it's going to go through the motions and I'm just going to stop it but you can actually see it start. So I click, click resume, the machine's moving into position and it's going to turn the spindle on which I have it actually turned off currently and as you can see it's um, just going through the motions and I'm going to click pause you could pause it and click resume again or you can actually just cancel it if you want to now cancel it obviously you stop it and you have to restart the whole project back over again but that's how it works it's pretty simple uh, makes it really really great if you know you have your machine out in the garage where you don't have a computer or anything like that just makes it really simple you can run you know as many machines as you want off the offline controls it's super super nice a uh, piece of uh, hardware and uh, it works actually pretty well as you can see and so if you have any questions feel free to let me know again like I said there's a there's a detailed manual that has all the information that you need in it um, uh, pretty much everything how to set it up um, how to use it it'll go over almost everything probably a little more than what I just explained to you and that should be pretty much it so um, good luck and happy carving Jungle.